Well, there we go, guys. Tiny Ibex, right there. Now, the problem with this map is, <laughs> in the classic, if I shoot that, I won't be able to get it. Unless it's right on the edge and it falls down, which it's not. And it's a very small one, as you can see. It might be a female. Look how tiny that is. Like, they get really big up here. And we're going to keep hunting them. Going to try and get a couple today and give you a close look at them. They can be hard to hunt. So <laughs> thought I'd come out here today and let you see just how hard they can be. There you go. There's not a bad Ibex there. There goes one down there. Now the problem I have here is if I shoot them, like if it's over that cliff, I won't be able to get it. Now apparently on the new map, this won't happen. They will slide back down to us like a duck does. Like a duck in the water comes to us. I'm not sure if I shoot that, if I can get it. Because once you hit that wall there, I can't get up it. So the Ibex has to be on the edge for me to shoot at it and then have it slide down, fall down the hill, and then I can get it. And you see, we've got one there. Oh, if he gets close enough here to that hill. Oh, yeah, so he's in the right spot now, I think. You can see, I've got a tent up here. It's very hard to get up here. I'm going to try this. It's a hard shot. Missed. Got it, got it. It's coming down. Let's go pick it up. First Ibex of the day. Now seriously, these are hard to hunt. Like I said, we may not be able to even get this. I'm hoping we can, so I can give you a close up look at an Ibex straight away. Now, I had a couple up on the hill, they ran on the other side. I couldn't, you know, I just have to sit here and be patient. As if you, like I said, if you shoot and on the other side of that ridge, that's where they'll fall and you'll never get them. Now, you've got to actually put a whole set of rope up here to get up here. It's a, We're on a cliff. So, hence the tent over there so I can get up here easy. Or else your ropes will wear out. Is that it there? Oh, I'm hoping we can find this. Now, it should be just here somewhere. We did hit it. It did slide down. But <laughs> will it be in an area we can get it? All right, so... Oh, man. Oh, man. Please, please, please. Where are you? There. There it is. We can get this. We can get this. Cool, cool. Let's have a good look at it. Oh, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. Whew. Wow, look at that cliff face over there. It's where I had to put a bunch of rope. I don't even know if you can see them. You can't see them there. You can see them on the map. Let me look at the map. You can see right near the tent, there's a rope thing coming up. And let's have a good look at this guy. Now, this isn't the biggest one you'll get. It's sort of okay, but I've seen them a lot bigger than this. Oh, this might even be a female. Let's pull out our hunter, mate. Oh, look, we've hit it in the back end. You can see the bullet hole there. Oh, I say there's another one. It's me dog. <laughs> there's one right near me. Yeah, see, it's a female. This is a small one. 109. We're going to get 19.7, so, I don't know, maybe 20 um, GMs. So let's have a look. We'll do a trophy shot. Oh, I'm in an Ibex competition. I can't believe that's the second biggest one. That, that's that got to be wrong. All right, so I'll put the gun in my hand. Let's try and pick him up or her up by the head. And spin, 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 spin for me. There we go. Trying to spin my mouse. Right, I might just pop it like that that's not bad that as good as i'm gonna get and there we go first ibex of the guy of the day guys hopefully i don't get a big male or two but as you can see we got them coming in call the wild and this is what they look like in the classic and they are very hard to hunt here we go here's the rope 
You have to put up, and this is how you climb up here. And that goes way down there. So you can walk down there, but once you get to this part, you can't get up any higher. I don't, my dog went down there. You idiot, can you get back up? Can you climb a rope there, Buster? I am not sure you can. I just want to thank everyone for the comments. I did um, ask you to give me the thoughts on the new map, and man, I think consensus, <laughs> from what I can tell, is most people are happy we're getting a new map, and Ibex, I think you're going to enjoy it. I think it's a good contrast. More horned animals into the game. The map, map does look a beauty. It is pretty big. A lot less water and more land on it so it should be pretty cool and i just can't wait we get you know we only got the one ibex in this game and we're going to get four you know with all up seven new animals the mouflon sheep the hare european hare and the iberian wolf along with four ibexes so that's pretty damn cool and i've lost my dog man he flew down a cliff and uh I don't know if Buster can get on, get on back here. We'll find out. And let's look for some more Ibex. That dog is crazy. There we go. There's another one there. Now, unless it walk, starts to walk down the side of the hill, if I shoot it there, it may, may fall the other side. And, like, we, we already know I won't be able to get it. Look how far away this little bugger is. That's what I mean, like, when I was saying in the other uh, video about the new map. That a lot of this, you might have to do a lot of long shots because these are very hard to sneak up on. They're very sensitive. That looks like not too bad, but once again, that's not the biggest one you're going to get. Now, if we can, oh, if I can not get stuck on rocks, and my dog has come back. Amazingly, he doesn't need a ladder. Maybe he did climb the ladder. I just should have hung around and watched. But let's see if this ibex. Where'd you go, sunshine? comes down the hill there it is it's actually on the i think it could be a female it's on the edge of the hill so let's get into a nice position we might be able to get a good shot at it as you notice i'm just mainly in crouch mode here i don't want to make they will make a sound and it will come up on your hunter mate they have a weird sound the ibex All right, let's see if we can find it. It's just standing on the edge here, we hope. Oh, man, I can't even see it now. There it is, there it is. But see, it's not over the edge enough. That's what I need. Keep coming down, come down. Now, we're pretty early in the morning. What is it? 5.36. I started hunting at 5 in the morning. Because I think sometimes... For some of these animals, the earlier the better. Hey, we just see the horn sticking over that ridge. I need it to walk over. I need it to come right across. And then I'll be able to take a shot. But that's, once again, this isn't a big one. I think it may be a female. Like when you see a real big one, you go, whoa. That's what I mean, they'll be so good in Call of the Wild. When you get a level 5, even the level 4s that we saw are really big. That will look good in a lodge. Uh, I'm going to sit back here and wait and we'll see if it pops out. Because now I can't see it because it's below that ridge. There we go. You've got a ptarmigan. They're up here as well. There's a rock ptarmigan. There's another one. It's a different colour. I'm not going to shoot at them. I do have a shotgun. <laughs> so I can if I want. But I'm just trying to get Ibex today. That other one that was over here. It hasn't popped back out, so it's probably walked down the other side of the ridge. And we can't get it. The, this map is actually, I always found it really weird that a lot of times the Ibex went in areas, like they'd be up there, and I can't get up there. Like, you can only go so far on this map. And I always found that a little bit dumb. It was sort of like, well, you got Ibex in areas I can't even walk. So, I think that's why in Call of the Wild they're bringing in the slidey thing. So if you shoot it, it's up on a hill. It should slide back down towards you just like a duck would in the water as they come to you. So hopefully that works because here it was always a big pain. There we go. There's another Ibex in front of us. Man, that is so far away. 
I'm gonna try and sneak up on it. As you can see, that hasn't even made a noise. So I'm just using my binoculars today and hopefully that's an area I can get to. Let's get a bit closer. Man, now you see what I meant by we're gonna have to do a lot of long shooting in this, uh, in the Call of the Wild maybe. Maybe not as long as this. But still, now look where it's gonna go. It, they always disappear in a place I can't get to. So I'm gonna get up on this ridge just a little bit closer and try and take a shot at it. I probably should have bought a different gun. This gun's okay, but it's not my steadiest gun in my arsenal because it's not as high a level. Oh man, it's, it's gonna run off, isn't it? It's gonna. All right, this is pretty much close enough. Any closer, and we're gonna start spooking it, man. I thought blood come out of that. We'll go over and check. I think we may have hit it the first shot. And if I press the right button, we should be fine. Let's go over and see. Hopefully we have. Let's run. Oh, man. Yeah, this isn't my best long shot gun. I probably should have bought the 30 or 6 hey? <laughs> not a problem. It's still not a bad gun. It's not too bad a level. I just can't breathe as long as I can with a couple of other guns I got. But, this is hunting. Oh, damn, let there be blood up here, man. I thought I saw it spill on the ground when we shot. Could be wrong. Is this its tracks? Oh, man, roaming. We need a, we need a hit. We got blood, we got blood. There we go. I thought I saw blood hit the ground. Usually one shot... On these is enough. Even if, like, we've had a body shot, we haven't hit any vitals. Usually, that should be enough. Now, where'd it go, man? It did run behind here. Why is, why I have no tracks? Oh, yeah, went here. Then there. These are, is it bleeding? It's fleeing. What did it do? Flee back towards me? Trotting. I'm not sure that's the track. Let me find this, guys. Alright, we found it. It did run really far, man. Pretty far for an Ibex. Now, I've really mishit this, obviously. Once again, it is tiny, man. This is a tiny Ibex. I'd say probably a female again. Like, them horns are so small. Oh, look, we hit it in the shoulder there. So that should have, if we got penetration, that should have travelled into a lung. Uh, let's see, what's happened? Oh, I just hit the right front leg, no penetration. Oh man, we're going to get five cents. Five GMs. That is that is shocking. Man, that is so, let's check. <laughs> let's resume game. Yeah, we're getting five GMs, guys. I don't, does that even pay for the bullet? I don't think it does. Man, check it out. That is a male. And it's looking right at me. And if I shoot it there, I don't think it's going to fall down the edge. And I'm going to go prone. I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Oh! See? See how big the horns were? Oh, man. I've been stalking this for a while. It's been making noise. And I slowly, slowly came up here. And it popped out right where I was. Not what I'm expecting. Uh, I'm going to keep on it, but you see how big those horns were on it? That was a male. Very impressive. So, you know, wouldn't mind getting that one, but damn, they are smart. See, it looked straight at me. Right there. And even if I had a shot, it was right on that edge and it fell the wrong way. Uh, you kissed that goodbye. I oh, mean, I've just noticed one. I've got one right here. Look at the size of that thing, man. Oh, I'm going to have to really, really be quiet here. I think it's walked down the, the, the side of the mountain thing there. Oh, dude, where are you? It was just here. Just in there. And the horns on it were huge. Oh, damn. I mean, these are so hard to hunt. If they hear you, they're gone. 
think it's gone down. It would have had to, right? Maybe I can see it on the other side of here. Oh man, that was a nice size one. I don't have a lodge in this game, but if you had one, you'd put that in there for sure. That was a nice one. Alright, let's be very quiet here. Oh, it ran. I just heard it freaking run, man. Ah, oh, well. We'll sit around here and see what pops up. I have had a couple make noise up there. One did come down. And we got a glimpse of it. And now it is just... It is out of town, Jack. They are so hard to hunt in this Hunter Classic. Like, you really... Like I said in my Call of the Wild video, we're going to have to up our game a bit. Even in Call of the Wild. Because if they're this sensitive in that game, the Mouflons and the Ibex, man, you can't get super close to them. They'll hear you, sense you, smell you. They'll hear the vibration on the ground and they're out of town. Damn it. All right, there it is, see? Look at those horns, man. They needed to come up over that ridge. And we'll get it. But it's been hanging around there now for a fair while. And every time it pops over, it just jumps straight back. Man, look at the size of those things, will you? Look at the curl on them. They got like, uh, looks like they got, you know, barbs on there. Oh, it's coming close, man. All right, we're going to try this, guys. Oh, man, 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 I was going the wrong side again. I can't shoot when it's on that side, because I won't, that's it, I won't get it. And that's the stupidity of this map. If, it, if it's on the wrong end, you, you just can't get it. Damn, man, stop doing this to me. I think it's teasing me. This is a really smart one, isn't it? Uh, oh, let's sit back and wait again. Okay, here we go, guys. It is very hard to see. It is in front of me. Oh, come on. Right. It's just here. There, right there, right there. It's hit, right? Yeah, it's coming down. It's falling down. Look at that. That's not a bad one. All right. I have stalked this, man, for 40 minutes. Easy. But this is so hard to get an Ibex here. You have to wait and wait and wait till it gets on the right side. I was dead quiet, not moving. It did make a noise for me on the hunter, mate. So it let me know it was around again. But then you just got to sit there and wait till it pops out. We're lucky. It did pop out. Now let's have a look at this, man. Check the horns on this out. Now, I think this is a different one. We did maybe see a bit bigger one. The horns might have curled back a bit bigger. So this could be a, a different one. But, man, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to call the dog. Come on up. He's been laying down like a good boy. Or has he gone back down? I don't know where the hell the stupid thing is. Here he comes. I can hear him. Come on, boy. Come and check it out. Good boy, good boy. Let's try and make him fetch it. It's always funny. He gives you a funny look. Fetch it! Oh! Alright, come over. We'll have a photo. Look at this thing, man. Wow, we. It is cool. Alright, let's get behind it. This has got to be worth more than five GMs. It's worth 58. And it's a 2391. Now, I can't tell you if that's a really big one or not. I don't know. We did hit the body. So let's do a trophy shot. It is not a bad one, though. That gives me number one in the Alpine Ibex starter, which is pretty damn cool to, to be number one. But I'm not sure how old this competition is. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot bigger ones than this out there. Look at that. That isn't bad. That is a nice photo. That's what's going in the album, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's accept it, and we'll see how much money we get. But as you can see, look how big they curl. And I've seen bigger than this, so this isn't your biggest Ibex in the Classic. 
But man, that might be a, a level five size in Call of the Wild. And there we go. We're going to sell it and get us 58. I'm not going to end the hunt there. I know it's probably only a short one. But if we look at the hunter, mate. I started at 5. It's 7.30. I've got a few things to do this afternoon. I just wanted to do a quick video to show the Ibex here. Now, one thing we're going to have over this map in Call of the Wild is, like I said before, a lot of those areas, if it's on the wrong side of the ridge, you cannot get it. As you can see up here, this is the end of the map. There's a ridge up here. It looks like, you know, you see a lot of Ibex on that side of that ridge there. But you can't climb up there, and that's pretty much the end of the map. Now let's probably put more rope. And I was never going to do that. I already put one bunch of rope up. And I had to spend, like, real money to do that. So, yeah. Good area for Ibex, but I think I'd probably have under 50 Ibex all up because I didn't hunt them a lot. And it was just because I thought this part of the map was designed a little bit silly where a lot of the Ibex you saw you couldn't get to. So, I don't think we're going to have that problem in Call of the Wild. They've bought in that slide thing, so when you shoot it, it will slide towards you. If it's in an area like, you know, up there, it should slide all the way down to the base and you should be able to get it. No guarantee they're going to do it here, but they do mainly slide. Like, this isn't too bad, it's just they're hard to come by, the Ibex here. As we saw with that big male, it probably was the same one. I had to keep stalking it and stalking it and just wait behind a rock. Bringing out my hunter mate, waiting for it to make a noise, clicking it and seeing where it is. And eventually, it did walk down. But man, it didn't take forever. So, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said in the comments, thanks for all the comments on the Call of the Wild Ibex video. Seems most people are very happy that we're getting a new map. Most people are happy we're getting Ibex and the Mouflon sheep and the Iberian wolf. And we're also throwing in that European hare. And I like the contrast. Like when this game started, we got Hirschfelden, then we got Leighton Lakes, then we got Medved, then we got uh, Savannah, which had a lot of predators on it, then we got Park Fernando, which also had the water, bu water buffalo on it, and then we got Yukon, which is more of a, you know, you had the bison, the wolf, uh, and the grizzly bear, which would attack you. Yeah, now, back to, you know, the other contrast for other hunters, we're getting all the horned animals, and I'm pretty happy. I think the... The Ibex and the big sheep in the Call of the Wild are going to look really good in your lodge. They're going to have new displays. It's out December 10. Look out for it. I think we're all going to enjoy it. I can't wait to get on it. Anyway, guys, just thought I'd bring you this, show you some Ibex in the Classic, give you the taste of what to expect because they're pretty cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.